Welcome to TMG Pageant Network. I'm Katie Stay of Miss America 2009, coming to you from the Theater of the Performing Arts at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. You see it right behind me. It's the stage, the official stage, where the next Miss America will be crowned in a mere two hours from now. We are moments away from the start of the show. We're going to break it down from 53 incredible, poised, gracious, well-spoken, talented individuals down to 15, then down to 12, down to 10, and then before you know it, we'll have our brand new Miss America 2012. I know all of the former Miss Americas are so excited to be inducting a new sister into our sisterhood and the legacy that is Miss America, 91 years strong. It's all happening right here from Las Vegas at Planet Hollywood, the 2012 Miss America pageant right here on TMG Pageant Network. Hi, I'm Laura Kepler, Miss Wisconsin, and you're watching Pageant Network. All right, we're back with Miss Wisconsin, Laura Kepler. You won Preliminary Talent Award. I did, yes. How was that? And tell me a little bit about your talent. It was an incredible experience. I majored in music and vocal performance as my undergrad, so that was one of my really main goals coming here was to win talent prelim. So I was just thrilled to have that come true. I sang a classical aria called Il Baccio, which means the kiss. It's about a young woman who has just fallen in love. She doesn't desire jewels or a ring. All she wants is a kiss from her one true love. So it's very lighthearted and fun for me to perform, but it was just an unforgettable, unforgettable moment. My platform is called Circles of Support, Mentoring and Advocating for Children Who Have Parents in Prison. And um, I have just spent time working with kids because I've had a personal experience with this of having a parent in prison at one point in my life. So as Miss Wisconsin or Miss America, my main goal is to let these kids know no matter where they come from, that doesn't have to define them. It doesn't have to limit their possibilities for their life. And if I can overcome that and stand on the Miss America stage, it's, it's truly possible for anyone no matter no matter your background well I think my main focus would be my platform work and to really break the mold of who can become Miss America. It's not something that's out of reach for anyone. Anyone can reach it. But the overall message, I think, to anyone that I hope to leave is that we're all imprisoned by something at some point in our life. Everyone has experienced some kind of setback, emotional or circumstantial, that has not allowed them to succeed. And so it's really a universal message to everyone that don't let your circumstances define you and always look forward rather than having to defend yourself. Yourself. May I please present to you Miss America 2012, Kalar Kepler. But I am just so honored and so grateful to be named Miss America. It's such a humbling, humbling honor and title. So I'm so looking forward to working in the education field as well as pursuing my degree, my, my law degree in family law. That's the fabulous thing about this organization is that it truly empowers you to feel like anything is possible for your life and that's the message that I want to share. Welcome back to TMG Pageant Network. I'm Katie Stam, Miss America 2009, along with my Pageant Network correspondent, co-host of this week of the 2012 Miss America Pageant, Chris Kratz. Hello. It has been such an amazing week being Hasn't here it? with you. We've been able to take you behind the scenes, get footage inside rehearsals, which isn't allowed. We've been able to gather individual interviews with several of the contestants, including Miss Wisconsin, who went on to become Miss America, crowned just a brief hour oh ago. Oh my gosh, it was so fast. And then we had the pleasure of being here in the press conference with her. We got to see her. She's such a poised, amazing, passionate young woman about her platform and about service and just about children in general, which is exactly what the organization is all about. Uh, you know, Laura is so poised. You said it right. She's so poised. She's so eloquent. You can't help but be mesmerized by her. She is. She has yeah. it factor, which is exactly what Miss America is supposed to have. Absolutely. What'd you think of the show tonight? The show was great. It was an amazing new style of show. They made a little music video for the intro. That was really fun. It was something different, something new, something hip. ABC wanted it. And, we I, gave it. and you know what? I think that they were tremendously successful on the production. Exactly. Sam Haskell also mentioned that uh, several people backstage, as soon as the show ended, that they said this is one of the best live shows they've ever put on. Um, let, run us through... What is Laura going through from the second she is crowned until 
you know, tomorrow when she's off to New York and her press conferences and more interviews, really run us through in, in a quick way what you went through and what she's going through right now. It's amazing because nobody really knows. I think everybody has this perception that as soon as you're crowned Miss America, you take a million pictures, you spend a half hour hugging and kissing and crying with your family, but that's not it at all. The moment that the crown was put on her head, she was whisked away to a separate dressing room where the host committee had placed all of her things, touch up hair and makeup so that she would look great to come into her very first press conference. She just finished addressing the media and what a wonderful job she did. As soon as she finishes up here, she will be on her way to address the rest of the audience who is sitting in the seats. Maxed out crowd tonight. 7,500 people in the in the theater for four for performing arts at Planet Hollywood. Absolutely amazing to see that. As soon as she wraps up there, addressing that crowd, off to a VIP party for the sponsors, then she finally gets to see her family. So it's a long wait. But I tell you what, it is the sweetest, sweetest time that you get to spend with them. And then tomorrow, she'll be whisked off to New York City and... Her family will get to see her here and there throughout her year, but she'll be able to come home one year from now and uh, really try to acclimate back into normal life of whatever that is for a former Miss America. But she's going to have a tremendous year. I know. She's going to do such a great job. And like you said, she seemed so open and excited about the idea that Miss America is really fo focusing on education. Yeah. She's the perfect ambassador for that. You can already tell just by her education and the, what her further education she wants to pursue in law. I mean, what a better Miss America than to start really parlaying those things together again. So we've had so much fun bringing you all the behind-the-scenes footage and interviews, so be sure to catch us. Still stay tuned with us on our Facebook page, TMG Pageant Network. Also follow us on Twitter, at Pageant Network is the tag name. And follow, come in at all the conversations that we've had over this week, all the interviews, all the behind-the-scenes behind footage that we've had. I'm getting tired. You can tell it's the end of the week, right? We're all. And my voice there. is going. I was screaming too much as the pageant was going. We're all, we're all tired, but you can tell. So Laura tired. Kepler, she has that energy going. She has what it is. She she, she she's Miss on an America adrenaline energy. rush yeah. right now. Yeah, because she was just crowned Miss America 2012. You saw it happen right here on TMG Pageant Network. We'll see you next year.